Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Congratulations, you're a felon. Okay, so you're not actually a felon yet. If you're watching this video, you're probably on the road to being a felon unless you do one of the four things that the ATF says you can do because you have a braced pistol. Now there are between 3 million and 40 million people with braces out there. I think the 40 million is the number of braces that are there. So it's obviously going to be less than that because people that have a brace pistol probably have more than one. Or it may even be higher than that because those are just the two numbers that I'm hearing. So what are your options? You don't have a lot of them. None of them are good. Let's just cover them. If you're like me who's been on camera with them, your options are... A little more limited to, than other people haven't been on camera. I'm not going to cover those other options. If you've never been on camera with them, I'm going to cover your options. If somebody knows you have a pistol brace. Somebody who's been on camera with them has taken a picture of them, posted it online, whatever. Your options are to register it as an SBR. And you can bet your ass that all the big people who are sitting there right now, they're saying, oh, I'm not registering anything. Well, well, they can come get me. All those big channels, they're going to register them. They're going to sit there and blow smoke up your ass and tell you they ain't registering anything, blah, blah, blah. They're going to register them. They don't want to go to jail for 10 years. They don't want to pay $10,000 fine each. They're going to register them. Your other options are to turn in the now SBR to the ATF. And they will destroy it. You will get nothing for that now SBR, even though it's a pistol with a brace on it. That's another option you have. That one's not a good one either. It's pretty crappy that you've got money into the pistol and the brace, and you got to turn it in. Just kiss that money goodbye because they're not going to give you anything for it. You can destroy the now SBR. Make sure you video that. Make sure you do it correctly. Cut it through the receiver first. Don't cut the barrel off of it because then you're really going to get in trouble. And again, you're not going to get anything for that now SBR that is actually a pistol with a brace on it. You're going to be out that money. Another option is you can destroy the brace. Again, you're not going to get any money for it. You're just going to destroy that brace. I am unclear if you actually have to do something to the pistol that's now an SBR. Once you take the brace off of it to stop being able to put another brace on it. Big surprise. The government didn't give you any definitive answer on that one. So you may have to do some changes to your pistol that's now back to being a pistol that was a pistol. It was an SBR. I don't know. you got to destroy the brace. That's your other option. You can't turn that brace into the ATF because the ATF has said they don't regulate braces. Now, touching on the destroying the brace, you can't just take it off and put it in a drawer and say, hey, I'm not using it. This is back to a pistol. Maybe, I don't know, if you didn't do anything to change the fact that you could put a brace back on there, you may not be back to a pistol. It may be an SBR still. Don't know. But you can't have the brace and a pistol that's possible with the possibility of being braced in your possession because then you have constructive intent so you can't keep the brace you have to destroy it sell it i suppose but who's gonna buy them now can't turn it into the atf you just throw it away and you've ever been on camera with it or shown a picture of it or anything else they're going to come looking for you someday. So video yourself destroying your brace. Video yourself destroying your pistol that is now an SBR because a federal agency that isn't allowed to make laws has now made a law. Turn your pistol with a brace on it that's now an SBR into the ATF. Lose that whole thing. Or register them as an SBR. Got a couple other choices if you've never been on camera with it. We're not going to cover those. You know what they are. There you go, guys.
wait for the lawsuits to go through, but here we are three years in, four years in from the bump stock ban, and they finally got, you know, one court to say it's unconstitutional and three others that have said, yo, yeah, they were allowed to do that. So we got to wait on that. Those people, those those bump stocks are all gone. The business, companies are out of business. That one's gone, regardless of what the one court case does. It's going to be the same way with braces. You can bet on it.